today I'm going to review the newly launched Maybelline The Rock Nudes palette for you all. So this is the third palette in the nude series. The first one was obviously the nudes, the second one the blushed nudes and now we have the rock nudes. So basically they talk about all grungy, rock sort of looks using this palette and everything and uh, the price point of this one is $9.25 which is more than what the nudes and the blush nudes retail for. I'm not too sure if they've hiked up the price now, but when they launched, they were for like $8.99. So it's like a 25 rupees hike, 26 rupees hike to be precise. But yeah, it's a hike in price. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. They have switched up the packaging a little. The previous one was like a shiny plasticky case. Now this time it's a matte case with silver, the rock nudes written on top of it. And you can see the colors from the top. And then when you open it up, they have like a sponge and a brush applicator to win one thing inside it and this is what the colors of the palette look like I'm first gonna go through what I feel about the palette and then I'm gonna go through all of the colors individually I've also added swatch with the sponge applicator as well as the brush that comes with this palette because I just want to add in little extra details whenever I'm doing reviews so that you guys can see a more holistic view towards the palette as well and because they are giving this in here I thought it would just make sense to show you guys what with this as well because some of you might not be having the tools and you might be using the brush and the sponge applicators that come in the palettes to do your makeup so it made sort of more sense to me so that's why I've included that one as well I also do currently have this eyeshadow palette on my eyes as well I've used about four or five shades of this palette on my eyelids and this is the look that I've come up with I will be including the tutorial in the video as well again just to show you a little extra something not too much but yes that's gonna be there as well so starting with the price point I really like Maybelline's price point for a thousand rupees almost a thousand 75 rupees less so for almost a thousand rupees you're getting 12 eyeshadows which comes down to less than 100 rupees per eyeshadow which is a really great deal which like personally in my opinion out of these 12 eyeshadows four of them are matte four of them are satin and four of them are glitter we have glitter eyeshadows this time as well now what I feel about this palette is like if we come down to the eyeshadows and on the price point and the packaging I also like the packaging I really like the matte effect but yes if we come down to the actual core topic of the eyeshadows I felt that these eyeshadows are slightly chalky in feel but once I used it with a brush like my own brushes they did fare nicely for me it did take a little bit extra effort to blend them out but they like transferred nice amount of pigment on my lips the matte ones the shimmery ones I felt were just so so they aren't like amazingly pigmented the major 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 disappointment of this palette is is the glittery ones now I'm not kidding you guys I was so excited for this pink shade right here which I have all over my lid as well so uh, when this came in there was like a very nice amount of glitter on the top layer and as soon as I swatched it that glitter just like went away it was so disappointing and even when I was applying it on my eyelids or I applied it on my eyelids earlier what I felt was it doesn't have enough pigmentation but you can see through my eyelid it's just like a very sheer glitter the cheap quality glitter that you get in the market for about 10 bucks or so so yeah it, it sort of feels like that inside in here so I was really excited I'm not kidding you there are four glitter shades and I was so excited for them I was like yeah this is gonna be like pressed glitter eyeshadows but they were just a major disappointment I'm gonna go through all of the shades and then I'm gonna tell you what I actually feel about this palette in an overall, again, a holistic viewpoint. So the first shadow that we have here is the white one. It's a white matte shade. Um, this is not extremely pigmented. It's a matte shade. It, it is slightly chalky, but it does blend out everything. And, you know, just a normal matte white shade. Then we have this icy blue silver sort of a shade. It's a very beautiful shade. And it's a satin shade. It goes on more smooth than any of the other eyeshadows in this palette. So I really like that fact about this eyeshadow. Then we have this pink glitter shadow in here which was the biggest disappointment of my life it looks so pretty sitting in there but it doesn't come half as pretty as what it looks in the pan then we have this matte color right here it's sort of like a very deep brown almost with the hint of a black color again it being a matte color it is slightly on the chalkier side but it can blend out you do just need to put in a little bit of extra effort and it will blend out then we have this blue glitter eyeshadow which again has like zero glitter like this pink one still gives off a little glitter but this one doesn't even give off the glitter anymore the top layer of the glitter is gone and it's just like it feels 
really blare so that's that and then the last one we have is a black glitter eyeshadow which again the glitter doesn't really show that much i also would like to add uh, the glitter eyeshadow feels slightly more gritty it's not a very smooth consistency or the texture we feel slightly gritty and but the, but it doesn't feel that gritty on the eye which is a good thing but once you're like swatching it with your finger it feels slightly gritty than the other eyeshadow which was an obvious thing so this is the side by side swatch of the top row on my hand i have swatched it a couple of times just to get like a nice intense color to show you guys how they should have looked like at least i tried to make it look like that but yes moving on to the bottom row the first color we have here is a dull beige satin shadow this being again a satin shadow is better than the rest of the powders but i still feel that the pigmentation on this one is not enough which is a very sad part then we have this dull browny golden satin color again a satin color better than the rest still a little low on the pigmentation then we have a plum satin shade it's a beautiful satin shade is one of the most pigmented shades in the palette that makes me so happy <laughs> like finally i'm saying something is pigmented we have this golden black glitter eyeshadow this looked way more golden when it wasn't swatched or used it looked like a pure golden and the moment i swatched it i felt like i swatched it with a dirty finger because um, i could see black alongside i was like what so i swatched it a couple of times couple of times and still the black was there and then i got to know that it's actually a black golden so of a glitter it's black on the base and golden is the glitter so yeah that's why it looked way more golden when it wasn't swatched then we have this matte plum color which honestly speaking just looks like this color but in a matte form and it doesn't even look that different <laughs> like it doesn't look extremely matte and that doesn't look extremely satin so i don't know why two similar colors are there in a the palette and then lastly we have this matte black eye shadow which is a matte formulation slightly on the chalkier side but still is really pigmented i have it on my outer corners and it was like one of the most pigmented eye shadows in this palette so those were all of the eye shadows i'm going to quickly share how i got this eye look i started off with extra translucent powder under my eye just to ensure that if i had any fallout then it would catch the fallout and i could just like swipe it away the first thing i did was i took this matte white shade and set my crease to brow bone area to just make sure that the blending is easier so that didn't really help that much <laughs> I don't know what would have happened if I did not set my eye with the powder, you know, just saying. Then I took this plum shade because it is one of the only matte shades which I could use in my crease. So I used that and I blended it out and then with the same brush, I picked up the black shade and I put it in my outer corners and again I blended it out. I wanted to go for like a cat smoke eye effect and that's why I applied it there. Then I took this pink shade and applied it all over my eyelid to get like a nice glittery eye or that's what I thought. So I applied it all over my lid and it really took me some time to put it on my lid and this eye shadow also had fallout. I did not experience fallout with any of the other shadows but just with this shadow there was a lot of glitter that was there on the base that I had put on under my eye. So you know I swiped it away after I was done. Then I took this blue shadow and put it on my lower lash line just the outer half but you can't even tell it apart it almost looks like a black there's no glitter so that was a bummer and then I took this base shade right here and I put it in my inner corners just to brighten them up but as you can see they're not as bright as I like them to be and then I just finished off with a wing liner and some mascara so that's how I did my eye look now coming to the final thoughts on this palette the reason why the nudes or the blush nudes work for me was because of the fact that I could use the colors if not as eye shadows but in multiple ways in the nudes you have so many highlighter shades brow shade then just you know different couple of things in the blush nude again you have highlighter shades blush shades and you can work it around the blush shades blush nudes was actually a better formulation than the nudes one but with this uh, i think the trilogy has gone down the hill i am not really impressed with this palette it's just i don't know it's maybe the formulation of the glitter eye shadows it is just highly disappointing i am honestly not a very big fan and the fact that you can't even use the other eye shadows as something else if not as eye shadows is again something that bothers me very highly yes you can use this one as a highlighting shade but it's not like the type of highlighters i like which is like popping and banging and then you can use this one as an eyebrow filler but why would you go for this palette if you already have the nudes or the blush nudes if you just want to use it not like an eyeshadow palette so summing it all up in my opinion you can definitely give this palette a miss there are better palettes out there and if you just want a glitter eyeshadow there are many glitters 
available in the market there are many eyeshadows like these with better pigmentation available in the market so you can definitely give this one a miss for sure so that's my review oh my god i've had like a negative or a don't buy review after so long i was having such a nice streak of finding just good products and then <laughs> But I do hope that at least this was helpful for you guys in making a decision whether to go for this palette or not to go for this palette. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today's review Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review Wednesday. And if you did, don't forget to comment and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. I'm just gonna go and cry my heart out because that pink eyeshadow didn't work for me. I had really high expectations from that one. And yeah, please don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which I would list in the bottom bar for all of you guys. And very active on all sorts of social media and i'm gonna see you guys next time till then take care Mwah. bye